Okay, let me start with the good news. Uh, you will not be lost from the accent from Matt, from, to myself, you can French style till the end, I'm afraid. Uh, more important, I'm gonna be with you only one or two minutes, so the lunch is almost served, so just bear with me a couple of minutes. Um, just a few, few words. Due to the nature of our business, bank industry will be always under attack, okay, until we find the ultimate solution to fix all our problems, but I don't think this will happen today. We talk a lot about cyber, uh, but we always have to keep in mind that data lost can also come from insider and also third parties, okay, so it's, it's more than just a one way of having problems, so let, do not forget that. Also, I think the industry acknowledge that we can't be 100% protected, and we will never be. So what is important is to identify your critical asset. What is our controls? What is our, the, the data that it can't get out, can't be leaked, can't be stolen? I need to protect that. When we notify this, then you can start to design um, and, and prioritize your set of action. So it's only when you have that in mind, because sometimes organizations jump on, on you know, techniques and, 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 and process and so on without knowing where they have to pay attention. So this is a must. Our ability to detect, our ability to respond, to protect and recover from incident have to be in line with the business risk appetite. Again, this is a business problem. It's not an IT, IT will help to fix, but it's not an IT problem, okay? So the, we must have a dialogue, when I say we, people like me, just my peers across uh, banks, must have a dialogue with the business to ensure that they understand the business appetite up to where we are ready to spend in terms of cost, effort, time, to apply the right level of, uh, of control. Just a few words to summarize. I personally think it was a great event. I'm very pleased with the level of participation. I'm pleased with the content uh, from our speaker. Um, I think the material will be made available if you, if you want to see the, those slides, if you would like to have a copy. I hope I'm not speaking too much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, just lastly, I would like to thank a few persons. Um, I would like to thank first as I said, the speaker, but I would like to thank the Information Security Committee members. I can see Astrid, I can see Regis, I can see Rinaldo, I can see uh, Harry, with his verb. Uh, I don't know if I forget other, but thank you for your help during all the year uh, to drive interesting conversations through the UBF Information Security Committee. Um, I would like to thank the moderator, so Talat and Iba, thank you for your help during the panel discussion. I would like to thank the sponsor who allowed us to make this event happen. So again, Dark Matter, Simon Tech, uh, Anomaly, Almasaf, and CSIS. Uh, I would like to thank Walid, Iba, and the team for making this event uh, possible again. Thank you for that. Uh, and I would like to thank a special thank you to Mr. Nasser and Imad for uh, the support that you provide from the UAE Banking Federation. Really appreciate. And I would like to thank you all, uh, you all for attending. I hope you learned something. I hope you will go home, go to the office, maybe it's still early, uh, with some new way of thinking. Okay. Uh, if you want additional discussion, collaboration, I think that the UBF will be pleased to continue this discussion after the, this session. And uh, I think that's it, the meeting, the conference is over. Thank you again very much for attending and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.